paid to think, you're paid to do. He plays a CIA director in one short film, a sad divorcee in another. But in real life, Fred Sharp is much more than an actor and movie producer, his company Corporate House much more than a film financier. For 22 years, this has been Mossack Fonseca's Canadian representative. Operating offshore using a company called Bond & Co, Sharp created nearly 1,200 entities linked to Canada. His operation so secret, lawyers in Panama were forbidden from sending any annual invoices or statements of account to Vancouver by email, fax or airmail. Printed invoices or statements of account should be destroyed, said instructions. For me, that's a red flag. They, they do not want any paper trail coming back to them. Sharp got into offshore finance after he was suspended from the Law Society of BC in 1995 for knowingly taking instructions from convicted fraudster Mike Mitten, who was disqualified from being a company director. A year later, we've learned there were no hard feelings between Sharp and Mitten because Mitten was in Sharp's office, setting up an offshore company in the names of two other men. They tell us Mitten did all the talking and Great Northwest Capital Corporation was in business in no time. Within a year, the RCMP would be alleging fraud. A memo warned Masek Fonseca police were investigating Mitten for using Great Northwest Capital to perpetrate a $2.1 million fraud against a brokerage firm in the Isle of Man. A Panama lawyer called Sharp in Vancouver. Notes of their conversation in Spanish say Sharp advised in his mind there was no existence of fraud, so no action was taken. Four years later, Mitten would plead guilty and go to prison for defrauding a brokerage firm in the Isle of Man. This former fraud investigator says convicts are not supposed to get through the screening process, even if they use other people's names. If that's the case, it certainly looks it certainly looks really bad, and it's just certainly being guess, investigated further. Fred Sharp declined our request for an interview. In an email, he says, I cannot speak accurately to your various queries as you have provided no evidence regarding events that may or may not have occurred 20 years ago. Tax planning is a global reality and is legal. He has since changed the sign on his office door. Natalie Clancy, CBC News, Vancouver.